Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will discuss part 1 of module 3, Solving Problems Involving Fractions of Grade 12 Business Mathematics. Kung bago ka lang napadpad sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pang mga videos at para tuloy-tuloy din ang iyong pag-aaral. Let's start. Fraction is from the Latin word fractus that means broken. It represents a part of a whole or more generally, any number of equal parts. It consists of a numerator written above the line and a non-zero denominator written below the line. Examples of fractions are 3 fifths. 3 is the numerator, the top part of the fraction, while 5 is the denominator, the bottom part of the fraction. Others are 12 sevenths, 21 and 4 ninths, 25 over 74, 5 which is equivalent to 5 over 1. Let us now solve problems involving fractions. Number 1, in a certain school, there are a total of 1,290 enrolled students. If two-thirds of the total students are males, how many are females? At para masolve nga natin yung number 1, simply a percentage formula lang yan na base times rate na kung saan ang base natin dito is 1,290 ang total students at yung rate natin ay 2 thirds na kung saan yun ang males. Ang hinahanap natin ay females. Okay? So kung ang base at saka aray nandyan, so it means ang ating Isosolve lang is 1,290 times 2 thirds. 1,290 times 2 is equal to 1,290 times 2, 2 times 0, 2 times 9 is 18, carry 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, is 2,580. All over... O, divide naman natin 2,580 divided by 3 25 divided by 3 is 8 8 times 3 is 24 Proceed to subtraction 25 minus 24 is 1 Bring down 18 divided by 3 is 6 6 times 3 is 18 minus o, Bring down 0 divided by 6 uh, 3 is 0 0 So we have 860 this is this 860 are the males. We are looking for females. So what shall we do next is 1290 minus 860 equals the females. 1260 at 290 minus 860 equals 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. 12 minus 8 is 430. These are now the females. Therefore, in our problem number 1, 430 are females. To avoid higher numbers, what shall we do is, you can do like this. 1,290 times 2 thirds if cancellation is allowed, always cancel. 1,290 divided by 3, we have 430. 430 times 2 equals 860. Applying the cancellation. Another way is, this is the total. If the males are 2 thirds, 1 minus 2 third is 1 third. So we will look for one third. So, the total is 1,290 minus two-thirds two thirds of 1,290. This is now the females or the one-third. So, 1,290 minus cancel, cancel. We have 430. Two times 406, 430 is 860. So, therefore, the females is 400, 
or the females are 430. Number 2, Romy both a pizza worth 180 pesos. He ate one half of the pizza, Rose ate one fourth, and M's ate one sixth. How much is the worth of the leftover pizza? In problem number 2, assuming this was the whole pizza, then 3 of your friends eight. So this is missing. Okay, the fourth one, the leftover. So what shall we do is, the amount of pizza is 180 minus you gave two or you ate by your three of your friends. So we have one half plus one fourth plus one six will be multiplied to 180. So we have 180 minus to add fractions of different denominators, we will look for LCD. The LCD of 2, 4, and 6 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 1, 6. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 180 minus 12. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 times 180. We can cancel 12 and 180. So we have 15. So equals 180 minus 11 times 15 equals 180 minus 165, 11 times 15. So, we have 15 is the answer. So therefore, 15 pesos worth of the left over pizza. So that's it. 3.a. Gina sells different types of teacher's uniform. She cuts a bolt of the cloth containing 120 yards into a single cut of 1 and 1 fourth yards each. How many pieces was the bolt cut? In number 3, we have 120 yards that will be divided into 1 and 1 fourth for every single cut. So we will simply divide whole number by fraction to determine how many single cuts we have for 120. So we have 120. Divide. Change first the mixed fraction into improper fraction. To change, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. To divide fraction, copy 120, imaginary denominator of 1. From division, proceed to multiplication get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 5 fourths will become 4 fifths. Again, if we will multiply 120 times 4, is 480, it divides by 5, we are making the number higher. To avoid the number higher, we will apply cancellation if it is possible. And this is true for 120 and 5. 120 divided by 5 is 24. So, we have 24 times 4 equals 96. So therefore, we have 96 pieces of single cut in one bolt. 3. That B or question number 2 for number 3. How much will be the entire bolt if each single cut sells for 520 pesos? In 3B, if this 96 pieces will be sold for, for 520, so we have only 96 times 520. So what shall we do is 520 times 96, 6 times 0, 6 times 2 is 12, carry 1, 31, 0, 9 times 2 is 18, carry 1, 46. So we have 0, 2, 
9, 9, and 4. So, we have 49,920. Therefore, this is now our answer. 49,920 is the total amount of one bolt of cloth. Problem number four. John buys 30 limited edition of stamps on Monday, 15 on Tuesday. On Wednesday, he gives two-fifths of the total stamps to Jack. How many limited stamps does he left? For number four, John buys 30 on Monday, 15 on Tuesday, and he gave. If we say he gave, it is minus. He gave what? He gave two-fifths. To Jack. So that is our interpretation of the problem. 30 plus 15 is 45 minus 2 fifths times 45. It has an imaginary one. Cancel 5 and 45, we have 9. So 45, 2 times 9. 45, 2 times 9 is 18. 45 minus 18 is 27. So therefore, we have 27 stamps. Left to John. Last problem for this video, number 5. On a bookshelf, there are 84 books. If 3 sevenths of the books are non-fiction, how many are fictional books? In number 5, this is the same with this notion. The bookshelves represent as 1 minus 3 sevenths are non-fiction. So the fictional books are 4 sevenths. And that is we are looking for. So what shall we do is, the books on the shelves minus 3 seven of that book is equal to the non-fiction. So in equation, we have in number 5, 84 minus 3 sevenths of that 84 books is the fictional books. So we have 84 to solve now, minus... Cancel 84 and 7, so we have 12. 3 times 12 equals 36. 84 minus 36 equals 48. Okay, or, or, if you are not uh, very good in cancellation, you can do like this. 84 minus 3 sevenths of... 84. 84 minus 3 times 84. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry 1. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25 over 7. So we have 84. 252 divided by 7. 25 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 40. 42, bring down 2, divided by 7 is 6, 6 times 7 is 42, so we have 0, so we have 36 then. 84 minus 36 is also 48, so therefore, 48 are fictional books. In number 5, a problem. Muli po, kung nakatulong at nagustuhan ang video na to, please like. At kung gusto natin makatulong din sa iba, please share.